Hey guys, I'm Amy and this is Three Chaotic Kids. Okay, so I'm so excited. First of all, I'm home alone. This is the first time I've been home alone in uh, 40 years. Um, I'm almost 41, if that gives you some perspective. Anyway, so it's just me and my little dog. You may hear her running around and chewing on things and barking occasionally. I apologize. She's in there now tearing up something. <laughs> anyway, so I wanted to show y'all what I, Amazon Prime Days was just a couple days ago. So I wanted to show y'all what I got on those two days. I didn't go crazy or anything because A, budget. And uh, B, it's so close to Christmas time. Wait. Okay, really it's not it's only like halfway through the year a little over halfway through the year but in my mind it's close to christmas time i'm like school's fixing to start and that's like christmas is kicking in okay so i have three kids i got it by far so what i bought on prime day except the exception of one thing everything else was well everything else was for scarlet my five-year-old and i'm yeah i'm so excited i think i'm done with her christmas if i'm not done then i'm like almost done and so now I just got to focus on the other two. They're a little older, a little harder to buy for. You know, five-year-olds, you can just throw a bunch of toys at them and they're great. But the two oldest ones, and if you didn't know, if you're new here, my oldest is 15 and she's a girl. And then my middle one is a boy and he is 11. And then my youngest is a girl and she's five. So anyway, most of the stuff that I bought that I'm going to show y'all. I got prom day and then I've been buying for the past two, three months, maybe since May, I guess, maybe April, whenever I did my last Amazon haul in here. I don't even remember what that is, but I've been buying and storing away and I've been waiting to do this video when my kids were, I was actually going to do it when they went back to school, but that's still a couple weeks away and I was really wanting to do it now because I just did Amazon prom day. Anyway, just lucked out. They all got things going on today. They're going and doing and I'm home alone. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna do it now while they're not here. So let's just dive in and get started. Okay, I'm digging my box, hold on. Okay, so this first thing I'm gonna show y'all, I got on prime day, um, the first day. Did I get the second day? It doesn't matter, whatever it is. I think it was on sale both days. And I was waiting for it to go on sale. So my little girl has these two friends. Sorry, somebody's, my husband's texting me and I'm actually using my phone. I have a camera, but it wasn't charged. And I was like, you know what, let's go use my phone. So if y'all see me doing this, I'm reading text messages. But anyway, so my little girl has these two little friends that have um, little tablets. And I think they have the Amazon Fire tablet thing. Um, but anyway, so I've been watching it on Amazon. I'm like, okay, Prime Day is gonna go on sale. So it was $129.99 and it was on sale for $59.99. So I snatched it up. I haven't opened it, I haven't, seen if it works. I'm sure it does. I'm going to hold out until close to Christmas before I pull it out and get it all. Cause it comes with a one year subscription to the Amazon, um, kids plus. So, uh, then you can renew the subscription. I think if you're like a prime member, it's cheaper and it's only like seven bucks or something. I can't remember how much it is if you're not a prime member, but it's still not a whole lot. But anyway, I snagged it up. I think it comes in the do y'all hear her barking? Oh my goodness. Okay, sorry. Her little treat I got stuck. What was it stuck? It was lay, it was in the corner of the wall and she was just sitting there barking at it. I had to pick it up. She's a little spoilt. I had to pick it up and give it to her. Anyway, I don't even know what I'm saying, but you get this subscription thing for year for free and you have all these kids apps. And that's one thing I like about this. It's like, I'm not gonna have to be on top of her monitoring her and whatever. It's just gonna be all kid educational stuff. And I'm telling y'all, when I tell y'all, she loves, she loves the, her little friends. She's going to be so excited about this. So I'm so excited. I actually thought about holding it out and giving it to her for her birthday because her birthday's in January. Because, you know, Christmas morning, I was like, she's going to open this. And then everything else I got her, it's just going to be like, uh, you know, she's not going to care, care about this for, you know, days on end. But that's how it is with every Christmas. There's always one specific toy that the kids are whatever, you know, thing they zone in on and they forget about everything else. And then, you know, a week or two later, they start kind of picking up everything else and messing with it. So if it wasn't this, it's going to be something else. I'm going to go ahead and give it to her Christmas. Anyway, let me show you what I got to go with it. Okay. So I got her this case. Okay. I'll just whip that up. I don't know what I'm doing. So 
<laughs> so I just got this case to go with it. It's not, I don't know. I don't think it's like, I don't know if it's the same. It's not the same company, I don't guess. It's just, whatever. It popped up in recommendations to go with this that said people bought it. It's just a carrying case. I think I paid $15 or less for this on Prime Day. Um, I don't remember how much it was. Originally, it's still in the plastic, but you get the general idea. It's a carrying case. Okay, I'm not going to take them out, but they're kids' headphones. They have cat ears here on the box on them, but in the picture, I don't recall cat ears. I remember I'm like, but they were purple and, can I open this without like, um, oh, okay, 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 hold on, hold on. Well, that opened real easy. Um, let's see. Does it, oh, it, little like cat looking ears come separate or, or they're, you know, you gotta attach them. But anyway, you, headphones to go with it. Um, oh, it came out real easy, but now me getting it back in real easy. That's another, I don't remember how much these were. $11, yes it do, like $11. I don't remember how much they are originally. I pay $11 for them. It, again, it popped up as a recommended thing to guess. So, you know, other people buy this, so I bought it too. And let me show you, uh, Oh my goodness, where is it? Okay, ha. I bought these little stylus pens to go with it. They were on sale for $7. You got two of them. I don't know if she'll actually use them, but whatever, I got it. And I didn't get a screen protector or anything like that, but if I, you know, I'll buy that stuff later. And if, if I need some kind of different case for this thing, again, I can buy that later. So, moving right along. I totally lied to you guys. I may do that a couple times as my memory comes back to me. I did buy my son something Prime Day. I bought him this really cool, um, light strip, like LED lights to go around your basketball goal rim thing, you know, where the net hangs down. Um, cause he got a basket, well, all three of my kids got a basketball goal for outside for Christmas. Our other one, yeah, they need a new one. And Samuel, my son, loves basketball. And so I got him this. So like, cause you know, when, after school starts back, whenever the time changes, whenever, November, is that when it changes? And even before then, it's going to get darker and darker earlier outside. So, he'll be outside in the dark playing ball. I just thought this would be cool. It changes colors, it looks like. It does all kinds of cool looking. What does it say? 16 colors. Or 16 color. <laughs> as the box says. <laughs> anyway, I think he will think this is really cool. And um, I'm going to give that to him Christmas. Got a little remote control. So, I'm going to give it to him Christmas. That's going to be real fun trying to hang those up. <laughs> We're going to make my husband do that. I'm jumping ahead for a minute. Um... This I did not get on Prime Day, but it kind of goes with these lights that I just showed y'all. Um, I got my son for Christmas a Glow City Glow in the Dark basketball, which obviously by the size of this looks of this box here, I'm going to have to pump that thing up. It's supposed to be like a real basketball. Let's see what size it is. Uh, seven, official size and weight, I think. Is what that says there okay so anyway glow in the dark basketball so how cool would that be outside playing basketball the glow in the dark ball and led lights i think i'm gonna get him one of those like pump he's got like a pump pump you know that you pump the balls up with but i think i'm gonna get him one of those that you like charge or you put batteries in or something you stick it in you just push a button and it blows it up i think he would think that's cool because he has like i don't even know how many basketballs we have it's insanely ridiculous at this point okay back to prime day i do not remember what i paid for this but definitely it was on sale do y'all remember when we were kids and we had those Barbie things that had the little plates in it. You swapped out the plates. You could swap out the middle part, the bottom, the top, and change your clothes. And then you put the little piece of paper over it and you took the crayon and you went sh -sh 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 over the top of it and it traced it out on the paper. And we all thought that was incredibly awesome. I found one. Look at this. Look at this. I found one Barbie fashion plate thing. Um, I don't know if it comes with a whole lot of paper, but that's cool. We can just use, wait, does it tell? One drawing tablet, 15, desi 15 design templates, eight crayons, one crayon holder, 20 sheets of paper, and we'll go through that in like a day. Easy to follow instructions. Anyway, I was like, oh my goodness, girl, I love this. She loves Barbie. She loves anything to do with clothes and anything to do with coloring. That She's going to love this. So I got that for her. And it just, there's a lot glare on it, I'm sorry. But anyway, that's just like brought back all the memories from my childhood. I wanted one of those so bad one year. I didn't get it. Mom. 
<laughs> anyway, I ended up getting one eventually and you know, life was complete. Okay, so I can't remember how much she was. I think she was 13 something. Um, but I bought a Glitter Girls doll. These are the dolls that are kind of like the American Girl knockoff brand dolls, except they're not as big. They're like American Girl dolls and the knockoff brand stuff are typically 18 inches. These Glitter Girl dolls are 14 inches. Now, Scarlet has two of these, but they're both, um, I guess their skin is about that color, but they both have really dark hair and they're very similar. They even came with like similar outfits on. And one of them is looking kind of rough, like she's been played with hard. Um, the other one looks a little bit better, but these are just such good size dolls for five-year-olds, I feel like. Not too big, but they're bigger than Barbie. Comes with uh, all these accessories right here, which is, that's what Scarlett's all about. But her hair, that's what intrigued me. Half blue, half, is it pink or purple? Um, purple, pink, I don't know. Anyway, um, just call me colorblind. Anyway, so she's really cute. Oh, and she's got, she has earrings. You can put earrings in. I thought that was cool. I was like, Scarlett is going to freak out over this. Um, so... And she's all about girl, like dolls with multicolored hair, you know, like blue, purple, pink, all those, all those colors, fun colors. That's her thing. So I got her and to go with her, I bought this little pack of clothes, glitter girl clothes. I think it was with a backpack and shoes, pants, top and a hat. This was on sale for $8, I think. I think it was on sale for $8. I may get another pack. Like I, I'm gonna keep watching them if I can catch something on sale. Get another pack of clothes. Maybe some other, like, I think they have like a little salon chair or something. Something to go with her besides just one outfit. Well, I mean, she'd have two outfits. And then if she can find the outfits of her old doll, she would have those two outfits. But um, anyway, I just, I may get her, you know, just a little extra outfit or something to go with that. But I think she's going to love that doll. Um, something else I got Prime Day, which is in my kitchen, and I'm too lazy to get up and go get it, was a paper towel holder. I'll try to remember to pop it up here on the screen for you guys, because my kitchen is straight out of 1994, okay? You know, 96, I don't know, one of them 90s years. Um, and my house was actually built in 1999, so it still had all the, you know, I don't know what my hair's doing, sorry, 90s vibes. Um, and my paper towel holder was no exception. It's wood. The bottom is shaped like a heart. The top had the little top piece on top. It's shaped like a heart. And I just was sick of looking at it. And so I bought one for $7 on Prime Day. It's just a basic black paper towel holder. Nothing super special to get excited about. But I was kind of excited about it. And my daughter said, my oldest daughter, she said, oh, this is kind of sleek, kind of classic. And I was like, yeah, classy, classy, not classic, classy. I was like, yeah, 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 not, not brown and heart shape. Anyway, excited about my new paper towel holder. Speaking of my oldest daughter, I bought her this book, Look of the Titanic. I have no idea what it's about. Um, <laughs> I, I think the reviews were pretty good. Um, I don't remember how much I paid for this, but I got it because for Christmas, I also got her another book that's like 888 facts or something about the Titanic. And she's real into, first of all, my daughter, she loves to read and she's into history. And so I thought to go with it, I'd get her like a fiction book about the Titanic. There was a ton of them and I could not decide. And I didn't remember why I went with this one. But um, yeah, this is the one I grabbed to go with that book for her Christmas. Okay, so Scarlet for Christmas. Um, I'm going to do like an advent thing, except it's going to start, well, not except, yeah, it, it, advents, this is how they go. They start December the 1st and run through, you know, the first 12 days or till, you know, December 25th. And instead of doing, um, like one of those, you know, you can buy the pre-done things and has each day and they get like a piece of candy or something like that. I'm doing books, individual books that I bought myself that I'm buying throughout the entire year and I'm. I don't know how many I've got, but I've probably got 15 or more by now. Um, collection's growing. Uh, since she's going to be in kindergarten this year, so reading's going to be a thing. I thought she could open a book every day. I'm going to wrap every single one of them. She can open a book every day, Christmas-themed book, and we can read a book every day on top of, like, whatever we usually read and, you know, the books that she's got to read for, like, um, homework and stuff. 
So the books that I've bought recently, I bought uh, Christmas is Here. It's a Snoopy book, easy to read. Um, that's what we're going for here. We're excited, it's all about Snoopy. It has stickers in the back. So excited for that one. And then we got Corduroy's Christmas Surprise. Scarlet loves Corduroy. As a matter of fact, she left the house today with him. She has a stuffed Corduroy bear with his little uh, green Corduroy overall things on. And we have the other book, because it made me like the original Corduroy book, um, whatever it's called. I can't remember the name of it. So I seen this and I was like, oh, we have to get this one because, you know, we love him. He's so cute, he's so fun. This is still in the plastic. But I got the Bernstein Bears, the very first Christmas, which obviously is about Jesus's birth. And then I also got, and I, see, I watch all these books too. The best time to start buying these books is literally right after Christmas. If you wanna buy Christmas books for the next year, right after Christmas, they put them all on sale. You can get some of these books, um, books? You can get some of these books for like $2. You can get some of these books for two bucks. Anyway, so I buy whatever I can find on sale. Another Bernstein Bears Merry Christmas book. I'm sorry about the glare. Anyway, it says it's two in one. So I guess there's like two books in here. I haven't even really looked, but anyway. So those are the Christmas books I have bought to add to my little Christmas advent collection. And another book. Uh, it's Jane Austen Word Search, actually. Uh, my oldest daughter, this is for her. She loves word searches and she loves Jane Austen. Um, so it is all, all Austin. I can't, I can't talk. It's Jane Austen themed so she can read some stuff here. It's like about, this is about, I think, okay, okay. This looks like it is part of like a paragraph out of the book or something. So she's got this fun thing to read and then she can look for the words. Um, I think I'm actually going to give this to her for her part of her birthday. Her sweet 16th birthday is in November, so I'm just getting her a bunch of little presents. She says she doesn't want a sweet 16 party. So I'm like, okay, and you're not getting a car. She's not getting a car till like next year. Um, trust me on this. She she doesn't need one. She doesn't need to drive anywhere. I take her everywhere. And her driving skills, you know, we, we're not there yet. But... Uh, <laughs> I'm just going to get her a bunch of little presents and, you know, try to make it memorable. The only thing that I'm not super happy about is it's like coming out of the spiral thing. It's a little messed up there, but, you know, that's what happens when you buy books through the mail sometimes. Okay, same child. Um, she's been wanting one of these microfiber hair wrap towels. I got her one. I can't remember if I, have I don't know if I've decided. I got to just pull everything out and look. I don't know if I'm going to give this to her Christmas or her birthday. I'm making a stack of pile and it's like trying to fall over. Okay. Then I was like, ooh, I'll get her a journal. Like one of those nice ones with the, like a suede feeling cover or something. And I did. It's still wrapped in the plastic. Again, it came though. The plastic is ripped and it's got this big black, like it's rubbed off. Um, but whatever. It's still a nice notebook and I'm going to give it to her. She can do whatever she wants to with it. You know, I don't know. Whatever she wants to do. Journal or just use it. For whatever. All right, I got a bunch of stuff, y'all. And if I'm not telling you the price and all this stuff is because I don't remember the price and all this stuff. I bought a hair dryer. It came in this black box, and I opened it, and it looks like it's okay in there. You can't really tell nothing. It's like a pink color, and um, it's got a diffuser. And us with the kind of hair we have, we need a diffuser. She actually doesn't have a hair dryer. Um, we actually don't blow dry our hair, ever. Um, we air dry because blow drying has always just been, it's taken forever, for one, because we have, I don't know if you can tell through the TV, but trust me when I tell you, I have extremely thick hair. My hair is not super curly naturally, but it's a little curly, it's wavy. Um, my two daughters have naturally curly hair, and they also have extremely thick hair, and no, it's just hard to manage and blow drying does not help. It's also, we have coarse filling hair. Um, so blow drying just doesn't help. Um, so I've always just let our hair air dry. It's just always been better that way. But anyway, she wants a hair dryer. So I, I'm getting her one. What, she never asks for anything. She really doesn't, she doesn't ask for much. So I got her hair dryer and I got her one with the diffuser. So hope she's happy about that. And this is wrapped up in this thing and I'm not pulling it out, but it is a grayish silvery color satin pillowcase because that's supposed to be good for your hair. They say we've never had one, never tried it, but we're going to try it now. So I got this for 
Malia to go, you know, I don't know, with her glow. I don't know if I'll give her, like I said, I don't know if I'm going to give this stuff to her at Christmas or birthday. I'm not decided yet. I bought Scarlett this rainbow high. She was on sale. I don't remember how much she was. She has blue hair. Can you see? Can you see her blue hair? Anyway, again, she has another rainbow high doll one that she loves that has purple hair. And she sleeps with her every night. She sleeps in the bed with Scarlett. And she just always talks about her beautiful purple hair. And so this one's obviously not got purple hair. She's got blue hair. But I was like, I'll get her another one. Same thing. But with, I made sure. I wanted it to be colorful hair. Because like I told you, she's really into that. I bought Scarlet for Christmas. Also, this wet brush. It's got Cinderella on it. Can y'all see her? It says it's limited edition. I don't know. But, you know, wet brushes are great. We love a wet brush. And it's Cinderella. Can't go wrong with that. So, <laughs> this next thing. I've seen it and I was like, oh, in my mind, I'm like, Samuel's going to open that up Christmas. And he is going to laugh hysterically because it, the word that's on the front of it. I mean, of course he's going to laugh because he's all about this word. Um, but I can just see him opening it now that I've gotten it. I'm like, he's going to open it and be like, what? And it's not going to be the reaction that I'm anticipating. But, you know, he's an 11-year-old boy and he's all about some fart. <laughs> I saw this and I was like, fart, the explosive card game. Fast, flatulent, fun. So, I feel like it's going to be a riot. But, again, you know, every time I, I build something up in my head, I'm totally wrong with their reaction. But whatever, we still gonna play it because I paid for it. Okay, so, is this a, I got one more thing for sure I wanna show you besides this, but I bought this for a little girl that we know, friend of the family for Christmas, thinking ahead. It's a uh, Baby Alive, um, what does it say? Star Besties? Anyway, it's some little Baby Alive doll and I, I really wasn't anticipating it to come completely sealed up in a box like this. But it did. I thought that she'd be exposed like, you know, most dolls are. But she come with all this stuff. So, you know, I can't remember how much this was, but $7 maybe? Anyway, not a whole lot. So, I was like, she'll love it. She's into baby dolls. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to show you works up my dog. <laughs> She's, she gets ready. Yeah. So, I'm not going to turn it on and show you how it works or anything like that because I don't want to make her hysterical. But... I've been needing a vacuum cleaner for ages. We have one room in the house that has carpet, and that is my bedroom. The carpet in my bedroom is horrible. It's supposed to be solid white. I don't know who puts solid white carpet in a house, but not me. Do you need to go outside? <sighs> my dog has to go potty. Um, let me hurry up and show you this. I can take her out. Anyway, I, once, I wanted a vacuum cleaner that was very lightweight that I could just do the hard floors all through the house with it without having to sweep. I hate sweeping. I was like, just something very lightweight, just do, 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 and be done with it. Make sure I get everything up. Um, my old vacuum broke and I've been using my husband's shop bag when I really need a vacuum cleaner. His shop bag is humongous and I've been dragging it out of the shop into the house and using it like to go in the couch and you know, stuff like that. And I'm sick of it. I came across this and I was leery at first because it was only $30, $30. I was like, there's no way this is going to work, but I'm going to give it a try. And what is it? It is a Bissell Featherweight vacuum cleaner. Do you see? I'm holding it one-handed. One-handed. There's absolutely no weight to this thing whatsoever. It's got a handle. The cord goes around the thing all nice and neat. Okay, okay, okay. Here's the bottom. This part comes off. You can take the handle off. Super easy. You just pop this off. This just literally pulls out. And then you have this part, it's like a handheld vacuum to do your like, car or whatever you wanna do. And it's got another little attachment somewhere, I don't know where I laid it, that sticks on in here just like this. You just shove it in um, to like crevices and stuff. And the suction power is amazingly pretty, pretty good, pretty good. It picks up all the things, all the dog fur, all the little crumbs from muffins and whatever my children are eating through the house. It picks it up, it's so great and it's lightweight. I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all, there's, there's nothing to this. Easy to clean. You just um, pop this. It comes apart. You dump it out. I'm in love. I'm obsessed for 30 bucks. I'm a way to go Bissell. I'm thinking about, because I've been like, what can I get my mom for Christmas? And um, her birthday's also in November. I could get her one for her birthday. I don't know. But I'm like, this would be a great idea. 30 bucks. And it's so lightweight. And, you know, 
when you're older like me and my mother, you want something lightweight. <laughs> All right, guys, I gotta go. My dog is dying to go out. I'm coming, babe. She's got to go to potty really bad, and I'm a starving Marvin. I haven't had anything to eat all day long. I don't even know. It's like 1 o'clock or something. But thanks so much for watching. I hope, uh, I don't know, I hope I entertained you for just a little bit. Uh, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already so you can stick around and come back for more videos. See you guys next time.